Murrayville College Athletics is sinking. Only a world-class athlete can save them. Welcome to the Disney Scrapbook, where together we take a journey to explore Disney history from 50 years ago. My name is Nolan. Today, I thought we'd take a look at Disney's 93-minute sports comedy motion picture, The World's Greatest Athlete. Initially released in the U.S. on February 1st, 1973. Subsequently released as a two-part series in January of 1983 on the wonderful World of Disney TV show. The world's greatest athlete brings the jungle to the gym. With an original screenplay written by Gerald Gardner and Dee Crusoe, a duo that often work together for television series such as Get Smart, The Monkees, and Gilligan's Island. Crusoe began his career as a writer for nightclub comedy acts and ultimately became a professor of screenwriting at UCLA. Gardner wrote over 30 books and is probably best known for writing his 1962 book, Who's in Charge Here?, which included gag word balloons and photos of political figures. It is interesting that Disney would hire a political satirist. This hilarious offbeat comedy stars Tim Conway, Jan Michael Vincent, John Amos, and Roscoe Lee Brown with Dale Hayden, Billy DeWolf, and Nancy Walker. The film relates how the coach of Maryville College, Sam Archer, and his assistant Milo Jackson, after a trip to Africa, trick Jungle Boy Nanu and his pet tiger Harry into returning to America with them to become a star athlete. Numerous adventures ensue conveying the message that winning is not what it's all about. The world's greatest athlete was shot from April 24 through May 1972 in and around the state of California. Despite never leaving for the jungle, veteran cinematographer Frank Lee Phillips managed to create some interesting camera angles for the action. The highlights of this motion picture are the fun special effects created by the veteran Disney special effects team of Eustace Lysette, Art Crookshank, and Danny Lee, who had already perfected the miniaturization of people on film in Darby Gill and the Little People and later in the Gnomobile. In the scene where the witch doctor cast a spell on Tim Conway, who becomes three inches tall and falls into a lady's handbag, Disney prop makers fasten some giant props that were 24 times normal size, including a lipstick, compact hairpin, a needle and thread, safety pins, reading glasses, a comb and brush, pills, keys, and matches that all cost $15,000 to build. In another scene, Conway encounters an enormous telephone that cost the studio $7,900. A seven-foot-tall cocktail glass held 1,245 gallons of old-fashioned, with two-foot-square ice cubes at 40 shots a quart, consider the possibility. <laughs> Disney legend Bill Walsh was the producer for this film. Having joined Disney in 1943 as a writer for the Mickey Mouse comic strip. Later, moving into television and films, he was selected by Walt to write and produce the first Disney TV show, One Hour in Wonderland. In 1956, he became a movie producer, becoming one of the most successful producers of all time. With film credits that Westwood hold the wagons, the Shaggy Dog, Toby Tyler, the Absent-Minded Professor, That Dumb Cat, Blackbird's Ghost, Murray Poppins, The Love Bug, and Ben Noms and Broomsticks. Tim Conway, one of TV's favorite funny men, switches to the big screen for this film, 
His only previous motion picture experience was with McHale's Navy. In the world's greatest athlete, Conway plays Milo Jackson, the assistant athletic coach for an American college. At his Ohio high school, Conway had excelled in sports, especially tumbling, and at one point was even considering becoming a phys ed teacher before trying stand-up comedy. In 1958, after being discharged from the army, he performed comedy routines and was eventually noticed. He worked in television, where he continued to write most of his own material. He himself is surprised that more actors don't quit the acting business after reading the action in a Disney script, and ascertains that if you are working for Disney, an animal will be involved. In this case, a man-eating Bengal tiger. Kawi retells that when filming the sequence in the car with the three men and the tiger dressed in a pork pie hat, scarf, and raincoat, it became really warm and the tiger got restless, eventually whipping out the seatbelt. The tiger's trainer maintained that this was not normal behavior. Tim suggested to him that maybe it was the costume, as in National Geographic, tiger don't dress like that. In the world's greatest athlete, Conway performs deadpan, goofy physical comedy and jokes <laughs> that score laughs, especially in quiet scenes, such as when he gradually sinks in quicksand. He makes the slapstick film. The title role of Nanu, a sweet nature boy from Africa with incredible athletic talent was played by 27-year-old, so for handsome golden boy, Jan Michael Vincent, who had begun his acting career in 1967. At this juncture in life, Vincent was an environmentalist with aspirations of becoming a director, saying, that's where you really pull the strings creatively. As an actor, I'm still an employee. I have to take what comes. I don't want to be a trained ape all my life. It's a shame that his life would become so troubled as his frame grew, struggling with various addictions, accidents, and medical conditions. The fast and furious swimming in this motion picture was executed by Vincent himself as part of the winning performance he gave as Nanu. Thanks for lending an ear. The wild tales behind this film are continued in part two of the series. I strongly suggest that before you watch my next video, you watch and enjoy the film The World's Greatest Athlete for yourself. Available on iTunes, YouTube, Amazon Prime, Google Play, and of course DVD. If you enjoyed this type of 50th anniversary content, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. The Disney Scrapbook channel will be producing other 50th anniversary content throughout the year that will include reviews of Disney films, LPs, books, and theme park content. Thanks everybody for watching. TTFN, head out for now.